What's going on YouTube? This your boy I am Core from the accolades.com. Hey, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button so y'all can get notifications whenever I upload more videos. Also, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at I am Core, A M K H O R D, and I'll follow y'all back as soon as I can. Hey, appreciate the support. We ain't gonna waste too much time. Let's get right into it. Bye. Hey, what's going on YouTube? This your boy I am Core from the accolades.com. Back with another tutorial. So if you haven't heard already, they have released the beta version of FL Studio for the Mac. And uh, I'm about to show y'all how to upgrade from the alpha version to the beta version, which is pretty simple. So we downloaded the DMG file. And you can get the DMG file. Let's see. I'm trying to help help somebody out with a project. All right, let me drag this over. So you get the DMG file from here. So once you log into your uh, FL Studio account, uh, you can go to like limitations. I probably just put this link in the description just sort of make it easier. So once you get this, get to this page, you see here, uh, read everything in this post before installing. It tells you what's not what's not working so far. So these are the plugins or what you know um, functions that's not working in FL at the moment for the beta version. And this is what's not going to be working at all, and they're not planning to make it work. So your sound fonts, you have to find another way to play sound fonts. One thing that I'm glad that they're doing is that they're having AU plugin support. So now I don't gotta go try to find like the VST versions of plugins because they'll be able to run off my AU plugins that I use currently in Logic and Studio One or whatnot. But anyway, so once you get to this this uh, page right here, um, you can scroll down, download the beta here, bam. So you'll download it, it tells you how to unlock it so you can use this. But I know some people have been having problems with entering their email address and their password right here, and it hasn't been taken. So you can do it here, but I'm going to do it this way, showing you how to navigate to the folder and do it. So, like I said, here we go. We got FL Studio, the beta version, the DMG right here. We're going to double-click on it. And you see you got this package file. Double click on the package file. So it says, can't be open because it's from an unidentified developer. Hit OK. So all you need to do, if you get that, that window to pop up, just right click on it and click on open. And then you're going to say it's from an unidentified developer. We know it's from image line. So we go hit open. And you see, I still got the uh, alpha version right here, but I'm gonna leave it installed. So hit continue. Continue again. It's saying that it would take up this much space. Okay, cool. That's a lot of freaking space. Hit install. Type in my password. And now it's going to write the files. Now what should happen is once it updates, I should still have my project files and everything. If not, then we're gonna move them. I'm gonna show y'all how to do that too. Yeah, if y'all got any questions, feel free to let me know. I've been trying to do more tutorials, you know, but I've been like trying to upload a beat every day as well. You know, trying to stay more active on YouTube. I know there's a couple of tutorials that I can do to help some of y'all out. I know I've been getting a few requests, so I'm going to start working on those. I got people asking me about uh, mix and vocals. I think I may do it. We'll see. 
Because I know it's a lot of people on YouTube trying to teach how to mix vocals and how they deal with vocals. But for me, working in an actual studio, like a professional studio and with the clients I've worked with, such as, uh, who is it, Kerry Hilson, Black Elvis. Uh, he's a Grammy-nominated producer. He produced uh, Ego for Kanye and uh, Beyonce. So just seeing how that's done and working with those type of artists compared to what y'all what people are showing on YouTube people aren't sh really showing y'all what you know showing y'all how it's supposed to be done but anyway so the installation was successful alright it closed bam so now what we're gonna do this is my main hard drive so I'm going to go to Applications. I'm going to do it from here. So I'm going to go to Applications. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so this is the beta. So what I want to check is that my projects are there. Well, first, let's make sure... Uh, well, let's check the project. So we go right-click, Show Package Contents. Bam. Contents. Resources. FL. Data. Projects. So none of my projects are here, right? So before I move my projects here, I want to make sure that it works. So we're going to minimize this. And plus we still need to do the register key. All right, so FL beta. So running FLOSX beta builds with more than one monitor attached can produce graphics and UI issues at this time. Please disconnect any external monitors. Wow. And that's going to suck. Now, I, I do got my dual monitors up and running right now. So uh, let's go to... Uh, Let's go to audio. Make sure my Apollo is there. Hit my MIDI controller. That's working. Let's go to about. So it automatically registered it. So if it doesn't register it for you, you can enter your, your FL or image line account uh, information right here with your email address and your password. If that doesn't work for you, I know people been having problems with that. Save changes. No. So if that doesn't work, we can go back to your hard drive. I think it's the main hard drive. Let me double check. You should go to library. Uh, what is it? Okay, so it'll be users, name, application support. Where are we at? Where are we at? Mm -mm -mm. Maybe all these little places they be having stuff at. I think it's gonna be in preferences though. All right, so what you're going to do, you're going to double-click on your hard drive. As you can see, my hard drive is showing up on my desktop. If your hard drive isn't showing up on your desktop, you can go to Finder, go to Preferences, and click on and make sure this check mark is beside hard disk. This will put your hard disk onto your desktop. So once you go from there, and once you open up that, your hard drive, you're going to go to your Users folder. Then you're going to go to your name, whatever your computer name is right here. And then go to library. If you're not able to get the library from here, go to file, new finder window. 
click on go, hold option on your computer. When you hold option, you see this library option appear. And then just click on it. So it does the same thing. So you go to library, then you go to preferences. Image line. And you're going to put the FL reg key here. Now you cannot use a Windows FL reg key. It's not going to work. I had a couple of people ask me about that. It will not work. So, oh, yeah. And I'm going to show you how to move the project files. So to make this easier for me, as you see, I'm already in the beta version of the projects. So I'm going to open up another instance. Go to Applications. And we're going to go to FL Alpha. Right click, Show Package Contents. Go to Contents, Resources, FL, Data, Projects. And as you can see, my projects are here. Don't mind the names. I know I ain't the only one to just be naming, naming shit, just to name it. But if I wanted to copy these over, I'm going to just select all of them. Right click, copy. And remember, this is my FL, the beta version. Right click, paste items. So, what I can do, I can hit Command Z, and then we can go to, we can make a new folder. The accolades. And paste them in here. So now we got our projects copied over. So that's pretty much it. So hopefully I helped some of y'all out. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. You can email me at uh, accolades at gmail.com. And I also have my email address in the description below. And uh, see y'all on the next one. Peace out.